I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Azad Akbar for scoring a topmost rank of 60 in MCH Surgical Group in NEET SS Session 2023. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. I'm grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Doctor, can we know something about your background from where you started your MBBS from yes, to general surgery uh, all these details? Sure, sir. I mm -hmm. did my undergraduation and post-graduation both from uh, Andras Medical College, sir. Uh, and uh, I, I hail from uh, Dharmapur district, sir. But uh, since I've been there, I've been for the past 10 years, I've been in Chennai. And it, uh, all the way it's in MMC, sir, here in Andras Medical College. Madras Medical College is a wonderful place because I did my MCH cardiothoracic surgery in MMC. Yes, sir, I know so. Yes, sir, I heard about this. So, it's a great place. One OPD, for one specialty, you'll see all patients. Of course, sir. <laughs> all of the super specialties is the same, sir. It's like the hub of every specialty. It's a great place. And from a very prestigious institute you are in. And very great to interact and nice to interact with you today. So, Thank you, sir. Uh, can, can I know which superficiality you were interested in you started moving towards it? Sir, uh, I had a, to be frank, I had an uh, interest in almost every specialty, sir. But uh, the thing that uh, uh, channelized my interest was uh, surgical oncology, sir. And I owe it to, uh, uh, to the professors of uh, surgical oncology during my post-graduation in MMC, sir. Um, it's a, it's a, a small department, but it's, a, it's more or less like a one-man show, sir. There is a HOD called the professor Dr. Gopu, and uh, he's still the HOD of uh, surgical oncology, sir. And uh, he's a great inspiration to all of the general surgery postgraduates out there, sir. So it's like uh, uh, he's the he's the postgraduate, he's the associate professor, he's the assistant, and he's the chief. He's he's a wonderful guy, and the uh, the uh, precision and poise he used to have, and the, the area of command he used to have is is just riveting, uh, sir. So. And one more, sir. Uh, during my stay, during my undergraduate, I had uh, contact to another uh, professor. He was the associate then, uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Ajay Chandrasekhar. So both of them were surgical oncologists. So it kind of uh, drew my uh, passion towards oncology. You were inspired uh, looking at them and. Uh... Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I owe it to them, sir. So once you are fixed that you want to do a MCA superficiality, then what happened? How did you prepare towards? When did you finish your MS? I, I finished this year, sir. This year. This, finished, uh, this year, I, June, July. June. Ah, yes, sir, July. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, one month time, how did you do this? I mean, uh, uh, August, September was exam. How you could make such yes, a good sir. rank? What was the preparation strategy? Uh, I thought initially I could crack uh, the April initiate SS, sir. I was preparing oncology for that. Okay. And uh, I, I had no idea about how to prepare, sir. I was just reading the data and uh, getting some notes and solving some questions like that, sir. But then uh, when I came to uh, realize that I had a chance in NEET SS before uh, pursuing another attempt in uh, INSET, I started uh, my preparations from, I think, mostly from uh, February, so this year, February. But uh, I couldn't go full-fledged. So to be frank, I had a multi uh, multitude of apps. And I uh, subscribe uh, to Speed at the uh, at a, at a very later period, sir, to, to which I regret it uh, for, a, uh, for a certain amount because uh, there is a extensive amount of uh, information that is available from Speed, but uh, I couldn't utilize full of, the, full of that, sir. So my preparation was initially I read the Subistan uh, 21st edition. And uh, then I read, uh, then I came to know that uh, there are questions. Then I, uh, during solving mock exams, I got a little bit of uh, less much compared to my other compatriots. Then I came to know that uh, the questions are also being asked from Bailey. So Bailey was fresh at the time. So I started reading Bailey. So I would have read this uh, both uh, one time, sir. That's all. Then uh, I had to solve questions. So questions I relied on uh, uh, speed uh, questions. For that, um, uh, I didn't see the videos actually, sir, in speed, but uh, there were a lot of. Uh, uh, there is not even a single topic that is not being touched in the question bank of uh, speed because. Uh, there is a integrated classes. There is a general surgery concept based classes. Everything has a question bank. So Bailey 21st edition table based has a question bank, and uh, 20 editions, uh, I mean uh, 21st edition Subistan has a question bank. 28th edition Bailey has a separate question bank. And uh, topics which I don't remember, I used to see uh, the GS concept classes of yours. Uh, I didn't see fully, but there are uh, difficult uh, topics such as uh, adrenals, uh, pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, esophagus. 
and uh, these are the topics which i tend to forget and i found myself with uh, plastic surgery and uh, moreover uh, vascular and cardiothoracic i had uh, prepared for my uh, uh, this uh, metal exam sir for the which also i used speed so i do uh, even though i didn't get the metal but i had an <laughs> idea about uh, uh, you are uh, the way you the way you say uh, yes, it it looks uh, very good actually see you have just enjoyed the way of reading and even in spite of not getting medal also i just did it huh? something uh, yes sir i just uh, <laughs> I, i had very little time so i don't know how to prepare i just applied for the exam sir mm. uh, but then uh, then i for cardiothoracic i know speed is the only this, this thing uh, available exclusively so i started reading uh, vascular and cardiothoracic from speed sir and uh, they had a notes of uh, both vascular surgery and cardiothoracic i prepared it then but then that got uh, expired sir that uh, subscription so i had to subscribe another time for uh, 3 months sir and then uh, I, i was utilizing both uh, and more, uh, fortunately there were a lot of questions from cardiothoracic and vascular this time also so it was uh, like kind of advantages moreover speed this uh, yes sir this uh, uh, paper had uh, questions also from 27th edition sir so 27th edition questions uh, i did uh, see from uh, speed sir there were uh, certain questions from oncology such as uh, the jettison baggage something some questions uh, all of them were from 27th edition page but the, this uh, my my plan of uh, speed also had 27th edition so i had a uh, idea about 27th 28th edition page and 21st edition so uh, during time of revision also um, i was not able to revise the whole of uh, textbook sir i thought of doing it one more time but i couldn't so i had to uh, see the integrated classes and uh, questions from the 21st edition semester from speed and uh, 28th edition So that was my I, mean, I just have a question actually. Well, I mean, you yes, are interested sir. in oncology. Then why did you go for a medal for cardiothoracic? No, sir. I wanted to write, wanted to write the medal exam, sir. Uh, so, so generally, uh, people, people, people have an uh, inclination for a speciality. They go towards that generally. But you have an oncology, yeah. then you want to give a medal in cardiothoracic, then you should have, inter- be, have some interest in cardiothoracic surgery also, no? In MCH. Of course, I do have, sir. I do have interest in cardiothoracic then, <laughs> so sir. Uh, but uh, but uh, i was wavering between both specialties sir no? but since uh, it's a uh, now no. i think it's uh, more fixed it's, uh, it's on color this sir fixed yes, sir, fixed yes sir, yes sir but previously you had some idea for cardiothoracic also correct yes sir cardiothoracic was my first uh, periphery posting sir so i had a mm. uh, uh, inclination towards cardiothoracic i still do have sir but but uh, uh, somebody anyway, confused I have to you choose between somebody confused you that cardiothoracic is difficult to settle and all that somebody confused you and that somebody you spoke to Not, not, not somebody sir everybody so i think the, <laughs> so i think that had a little bit of influence upon me in the sense my direction mm-hmm. sir but now anyway i have to choose between two so i think um, um, i think i'll incline towards oncology okay so but what your inner feeling is what special first option is for what second option is for what such so against the ranks have i think uh, have come good <laughs> if the rank has been uh, around uh, 2000 3000 you could have asked me alad uh, even it's <laughs> beyond i would have <laughs> i would have said uh, sir kadai thora is my patient sir something like that but uh, since it has uh, come a little bit uh, better i think uh, it's a oncology, oncology. Mm, okay. moreover i think i'll get in a good uh, institute sir Correct. so Correct. so i think it's uh, the oncology very nice so you had a depth of superficiality in both cardiothoracic vascular and oncology so that would be a extra edge for the exam also hello yes, yeah so there would have been extra edge of doing a two superficiality in at length so would have an advantage in exam also i said Yes, sir. Uh, because of uh, that appearing in the vascular medal exam, that was a very great. Uh, I think that's an advantage, sir. Since uh, after that, I didn't have the the, the desire to uh, get through the whole of vascular surgery and cardiac surgery. And moreover, there are a lot of questions, sir. Something concepts. Though the questions were sim- simple, uh, I think it was based on reasoning rather than facts. So preparing for that medal exam, I think gave me an uh, gave me an edge. Edge. Both in cardiac surgery and vascular. Yes, sir. Yes. So total number of questions attempted. attempted 150 sir uh but then uh, i think some of them turned to be uh, i could have uh, opted a, a few questions less sir but i i, I have seen your video sir to in re uh, need the strategies to attempt more to get more so i heard it heard it from you and uh, so i thought uh, uh, why not i was 
correct decision only you have no correct decision only yes sir yes sir but now you feel that some question would have left your rank would have improved you believe so yes sir yes sir uh, there were certain questions that i definitely knew that uh, no i am uh, this questions i think uh, it will be gone but i had uh, uh, had a lot of time sir during exam so uh, i think uh, uh, overthinking could have uh, changed the course of the exam i could have left a few questions sir at least a few three to four questions i could have should have left sir. okay very nice so uh, what is advice that you want to give to your uh, juniors or friends for aspiring for mc super charity sir um, i think it will be uh, advisable to read the textbooks initially when you have time uh, both uh, substan and uh, really moreover uh, this time there were a lot of questions from schwartz sir. so i think uh, usually the convention is to read endocrine surgery and uh, uh, some part of trauma from schwartz but there were a lot of questions from uh, schwartz and if you have time if you if you if you are a guy who prepares from the second year or the first year i think it is advisable to read uh, schwartz initially because uh, it's more conducive to learn and uh, more than substan it is uh, elaborate and uh, factual so if you don't but when you don't have don't find time i think it's an absolute must to read uh, substan 21st edition and uh, bailey sir then go for uh, uh, uh questions which uh, which uh, uh, i used to speak sir i used other platforms also but uh, uh, this uh, this advantage in speed which i find is this the integrated classes and uh, the textbook based uh, tables and the questions from each distinct topics so i think uh, solving questions and uh, having a thorough knowledge of uh, textbook i think it will be a, a good uh, addition sir great because i mean i also have, here the people generally use um, uh, multiple apps to uh, read yes, i mean i mean i just want to ask you a question when you also said that you used multiple apps i mean how to yes, revise i mean what is the methodology how I mean pick and choose one one in one area i mean how it works actually uh, sir uh, that i actually i couldn't uh, find an answer to that sir because uh, during the final preparation all of us were uh, scared sir so we didn't do not know which to revise so anything which has a elaborative uh, discussion for each topic i think uh, uh, this uh, our uh, i this uh, the package i prescribed had almost uh, 50 questions for each major topic sir for uh, endocrine in uh, for thyroid it had 50 questions breast it was 50 for uh, endocrine disorder other than thyroid and breast it was another 50 adrenal pheochromocytoma pancreatic neurology it was 50 so uh, i think this 150 questions you will have the the whole when you have when you had a initial reading of the, of the subject along with this uh, the, uh, the knowledge of the subject when you combine the questions i think uh, that will be enough for both fa- factual questions and reasoning uh, it is, i think this will be enough sir hmm no no my question was um, if, when we so student uses or three platform use four platforms then how yes, it is easy to not difficult to revise i think i feel only one you should follow strictly you should choose one and you should i think yes, uh, follow strictly and you should have a mechanism for revision because revision is the key i believe i mean yes, uh, my uh, uh, experience says at least three to four revisions i mean from area what you have studied is a must before the exams yes, sir but uh, what i felt was uh, each app has a, a diverse uh, group of is sir but that is difficult sir actually uh, trying to choose between uh, one thing is difficult i think sir i i i, do, I think i don't think i have an answer to that sir, unfortunately because i too struggle with the same sir i too had a, a great struggle till the last date i do not know uh, which to because since i had a, i think a little time uh, compared to my uh, uh, the compatriots so i think I'd ha- i had a difficult time in choosing that sir so was uh, uh, was the speed had adequate resources for exam like this i mean so that uh, it will also help us for a feedback that uh, oh, sir, it has more than adequate resources which i actually failed to utilize it properly sir because mm-hmm. i didn't see the uh, full elaborative uh, videos sir i had uh, seen the gs high yield series of yours sir then uh, i had seen the difficult topics uh, is of i guess manometry uh, adrenals something topics which i which you don't have a conceptual uh knowledge about sir. but uh, i couldn't see all of the videos sir but i had a majority of the questions i had worked out sir. so if i had time i would have uh, i came to know it very late sir so i think that's a bit unfortunate i think it's more than adequate i think it's exhaustive so if you 
uh, initially if you I, if you have time i think i would say it's better to go for uh, speed doctor um, it's a uh, time to thank before thank yes sir um one word that you want to say that this uh, i didn't do but i mean follow this one uh, last word that you felt during your preparation that would have been this way uh, much better that you can say to the students if it is helpful for them i think it would be to start early sir uh, that would be the word i wouldn't say you have to go full fledged but uh, to have an initial understanding uh, like beginning at the fag end of the uh, final year uh, even if it is possible uh, because second year it will be it will be a little bit uh, uh, free only sir going for periphery postings and situations like that so moreover i was in the covid batch sir so i had a ample lot of time to be frank so i think I, it will be advisable to start early sir so that uh, it will be a cake for to start early okay time to thank uh, i mean who all people helped you till today the stage i mean you can thank through the platform sir i would like to thank the faculty fraternity and my uh, post graduates uh, colleagues and my professors and professors and also my uh, family uh, they've been a uh, uh, times of intense emotional discomfort financial discomfort so they have been supportive through the transfer i would like to thank my colleagues sir my co pgs vaishali sasi sarat my uh, fiance also so i think uh, should be thankful to everyone sir great so i mean finally they were coming to an end of interview but a very exhaustive interview sir um, Uh, one more thing, sir. I should also thank my sister, sir. I forgot her sister and her family. So family and relative came. So they have been my uh, emotional, like uh, let out, sir. So everyone, sir. <clears throat> very nice, doctor. So we have almost come to an end of this uh, interview session, but it was very, very elaborate, very informative, and definitely it'd be useful for a lot of students who are watching this video. Now, sure, sir. So once again, I wish you. personally or also on behalf of the entire faculty team of speed and the team of speed to dr azad all the very best and all the success for a great career in surgical oncology thank you so much sir it's been my immense pleasure sir thank you so much best wishes to you thank you sir. thank you